Thank you, Professor Leren. Thank you, everybody, for being so patient of so as to still be here. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it, so I'll try to do my best. <laughs> so this is an outline of my talk. It's basically a kind of roller coaster ride through uh, equation-based object-oriented modeling uh, technology. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that. I assume you are not, so I I'm starting from the very beginning. If you are, I apologize I if I'm saying something that you, that you already uh, know well. So I will first try to say something about principles. Uh, the first principle which is important in this discipline is uh, declarative modeling. Uh, I summarized a few short statements here. Let me read them. The first and uh, most important one is models should describe how a system behaves, not how the behavior can be computed. Uh, I quote uh, a statement by my esteemed colleague, uh, Yaman Bardash, yesterday. Uh, there are no input and output variables in real life. Th th this is one of the fundamental uh, assumptions in the approach that we're following here. And also, I would say, the best formalization of a simulation model is more easily understood by a human, not by a computer. So there's value in, in, in models which can be easily understood by people rather than easily understood by machines. And this is more and more true as time goes by and, and more sophisticated tools get available. So uh, here we have this uh, equation-based uh, modular description and object-oriented is partly, uh, has been chosen partly because of this modular approach. So the, the basic ideas are that the model of each component is described by equations, that the model is independent of the components it is connected to, and, and physical connections are just connection equations. They're not inputs and outputs. So I, I put a very uh, stupid example here that I guess everybody can, can understand. is an RC uh, component, where basically you just write the equation of the capacitor here, and the, the equation here that states that the voltage across the capacitor plus the voltage across the resistor, which is R times I, is equal to the total voltage. This is a declarative model. It is a bunch of differential algebraic equations. There are no inputs, no outputs, and nothing is said about how we can solve this problem. The solution of the model, the solution workflow, is only determined when you build a complete system, only at that stage. So this is a very small and stupid complete system, so everything is easy to understand. We take our component here, which is described by these two equations I have already uh, shown. Then we attach it to a voltage generator. The, the, the equation is stupid, it's just the voltage is a known function of time. And then we have additional uh, equations stemming from the connection here, which are basically Kirchhoff's uh, laws, stating that the voltage here is the same voltage here.